Hey everybody. Today we're talking about the exponential distribution. This models waiting times between identical events that occur randomly and independently, like calls to a pizza place or defective products in a factory. Um, in other words, events that occur according to an approximate Poisson process. The name exponential distribution comes from the fact that the PDF, the probability density function of such a random variable, has the shape of an exponential function like the one I have pictured here. Here's the CDF of a random variable like this. It's zero when x is less than or equal to zero. You can't have negative waiting times. And it's one minus e to the negative one over theta x when x is greater than zero. So that CDF for x greater than zero is gonna be um, increasing concave down and asymptotic to y equals one. We have a single parameter, theta, that's the mean waiting time between occurrences. And in a little bit, we'll actually justify that statement and show that the, the expected value of such a random variable is actually theta. Here, theta is equal to one over lambda, where lambda is the mean number of occurrences per unit time. And that's the lambda from the Poisson distribution and the Poisson process that this, um, this random variable is coming from. I have a whole vid on the Poisson distribution. I'll throw a link up top if you need a refresher. The justification for this CDF is really simple. In a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda, the probability of zero occurrences in time x is exactly e to the negative lambda x. So the probability of at least one occurrence in that time is one minus e to the negative lambda x. If we differentiate this, we can get the PDF, the probability density function. It looks like this. For x greater than zero, it's one over theta e to the negative one over theta times x. But the PDF should not generally be used for computing probabilities. Generally, you want to use the CDF for that. Um, if you use the PDF, you generally end up just doing a few extra steps as you compute that integral. The probability that x is between a and b is, in general, e to the negative a over theta minus e to the negative b over theta. OK, let's do an example. During lunchtime, customers arrive at a restaurant at an average rate of three every 10 minutes. What's the probability that less than two minutes elapse between successive customers? Between five and eight minutes? More than 10 minutes? Um, we're gonna assume that the arrivals are random and independent of one another. So this really is a Poisson process. So we're given the mean rate at which the customers arrive. So we have the parameter theta is 10 over three, which gives us immediately our CDF, one minus e to the negative three tenths times x. And with that, we can compute the three probabilities we need. The probability that x is less than two is f of two, so one minus e to the six tenths, about 45.1%. The probability that x is between five and eight is f of eight minus f of five, that comes out to about 13.2%. And the probability that x is greater than 10, that the waiting time is more than 10 minutes, is one minus f of 10, e to the negative third, or about 5%. Let's take a look at the moment generating function of an exponentially distributed random variable and use it to get the expected value, variance, and standard deviation of such a random variable. So here's the standard definition for the moment generating function. It's the expected value of e to the t x. It's a function of t. So um, we compute the expect expected value by doing an integral. And we'll just run through this super fast. It's an improper integral, so we use a limit. I've simplified the exponential functions, combining them into one. With a u substitution, here's what we get. We plug in the limits, take the limit, and we get one over one minus theta times t for sufficiently small t. The immediate point of this is that the expected value of an exponentially distributed random variable is gonna be m prime of zero, and the variance is gonna be m double prime of zero minus m prime of zero squared. So we do a little more calculus. I won't show all of that. We get the first two derivatives. We plug in zero to each. We get that m prime of zero is theta. That's the expected value. Um, as, we, as I sort of hinted earlier in this vid, the expected waiting time is theta. We get that the variance is theta squared. So the standard deviation is theta as well. Let's conclude by finding the median, m, of an exponentially distributed random variable. This is the unique value m such that the probability that x is less than m is one half. So we can just plug in to the CDF. One minus e to the negative m over theta is one half. Now we're gonna solve this for m. 
I have added the e to the negative m over theta to both sides, subtracted 0.5 from both sides. Taking a natural log, multiplying by negative theta, I get that the median is theta times the natural log of 2. Of course, the natural log of 2 is less than 1, implying that the median of an exponential distribution is less than its mean. And that's what you'd expect given the right skew of this distribution.